Alabama Congressman Robert Adderholt is in Europe as we speak, attending meetings with the Helsinki Commission, whose goal is security and cooperation in Europe. He joins us live tonight. And Congressman Adderholt, you tweeted last night, I'm sending my prayers to the people of Ukraine, calling it a dark time. Are darker days ahead for democracies like Ukraine's, which started in 1991? Well, that's the concern, and that's uh, why that, uh, you know, I, I've been, uh, ever since this morning that I woke up, uh, I, of course, we're about to eight hours ahead over here, uh, and I heard the news that the attack had taken place, and, uh, you know, I'm thinking of what's happening next. If, if Russia can attack a sovereign nation like Ukraine, then uh, what is next? And uh, I know that a lot of folks, they turn on the news every day, and they hear of different uh, wars that have taken place, and a lot of those places around the world have been going on for, for decades, if not for centuries. But here, this is a sovereign nation that we have a great relationship with, and Russia has come in there to take over without provocation. And Russia is a member of the Helsinki Commission, so how have they responded to being told that their action is unprovoked, that this invasion of another sovereign nation is incorrect? It's been almost unanimous. Uh, of course, you have countries like Belarus and other countries that uh, have a relationship with Russia that is basically their puppet states. But most everyone here uh, were coming together in solidarity for the Ukrainians, knowing that uh, an another country could be next. Lithuania, for example, I just got back from Lithuania just yesterday. Uh, I was uh, on the Belarusian border, only about eight miles from the Russian troops, and uh, Lithuania could be next. And it's just really, this is a real dark time in, uh, now in, the, in world history. Nothing like we have seen since World War II. A lot of talk here is about the, the sanctions that President Biden has announced, stronger sanctions today, saying that two-thirds of the world are united against this invasion in Ukraine. Do, how do you see these sanctions playing out? Well, I, I'm hoping that uh, we can do everything that we can. I think sanctions is a good place to start, but I've, I'm so happy to hear that we're sending troops in. We've, we've been sending troops in, not necessarily to Ukraine itself, but that is that is not on the table right now, but at least to uh, the surrounding countries. We're training their military. We're getting supplies to them, and I think we need to do everything we can because this is not just another uh, – a uh, situation where you have uh, countries that are just uh, upset with each other. This is where a country that is sovereign, that controls its own destiny, has been invaded by another country without provocation. And we must stand on the right of truth and justice, as this country always has. You're on the defense subcommittee, Congressman Adderhold. What can you say to people in Alabama about American defenses as our country plays this major role in NATO's response to this aggression? Um, should it move beyond the Ukrainian border? Well, it just goes to the point that we have to make sure that we have a robust defense in this country. We've got to do everything that we can to make sure that we're not. There's a lot of my colleagues on the Democrat side in Washington that want to cut defense spending. And we never know when some, something like this will come up. But there's one thing to be sure if you have a strong defense and you're prepared, then you won't have to go to war because the enemy's afraid of you. But I think uh, Putin and uh, China has seen that we have been lax, and uh, I, I think that's why they may be doing these actions now. But I think we have, hopefully when we get back to Washington next week, we can make sure that we can get a robust defense number so that we can do everything we can to stand for those principles that made this nation great. You bring up a good point. How important is it that the United States presents as a unified United States on this issue, especially our defense? Yeah, and, it, and this has been a situation where Democrats and Republicans, I will say, have come together. A lot of my Democrat colleagues have, you know, been very much supportive of uh, U Ukraine and, and against Russia. So this is a time where I think Democrats and Republicans can come together and a stronger defense budget is exactly what we need to do. I want to just give you this opportunity to add what you'd like to add. Since you are there, people want you to stay safe. But anything you want to add for those of us here in the U.S.? Well, I, w I know that there's a lot of uh, Alabamians that have a lot of connections with the Ukrainians. Uh, there's a lot of uh, adoptions that's taken place of Ukrainian children over the last uh, several years in Alabama. And uh, there's also a lot of churches that have done mission work over the years in 
the Ukraine. And so I think it's very important that we keep uh, the, our, the Ukrainian people in our prayers, that we do everything we can to support and let uh, our government officials know that we stand by the Ukrainian people.